Heavyweight bout between Alexander Romanov, minus 152 for Romanov. Alexander Volkov. So battle, battle of the Alexanders here. Is the E worth the uh, the price here? Plus 152 on Alexander Volkov. Over, under, one and a half rounds. Over, set at minus 147. Under, plus 147. The experience is going to lean on Volkov in this one. We saw... Alexander Romanov get his first loss in his last fight against Marcin Chabura, which was in Utah at altitude. We saw him kind of gas out there, but a beating on Marcin Chabura in the first round. But Chabura withstands it, survives, and uh, gets into the second and third round and takes him and, and gets the win as a pretty big underdog. Uh, Romanov was minus 360, so a good cash there if you were on Chabura. Eventually, Romanov was going to have to fall, and you're probably going to get a pretty good price on him. That was the the play to do it. He comes in here as still as a favorite against a very experienced guy in Volkov, who uh, his takedown defense is going to be key in this fight. Obviously, Romanov wants to get it to the ground. Very strong wrestler. Great ground and pound and some pretty solid submissions. Uh, probably going to be fishing for legs really early against the six foot seven Volkov. But Volkov's takedown defense, it looked really good against Marcin Tabura. He stuffed uh, all of 16 takedowns that Tabura threw at him. But the, the one blemish that's really hard to get over is the he gave up 14 takedowns to Curtis Blades back in 2020. And uh, if, if Romanov can have the success with the takedowns early and not gas himself out, he's probably got this fight won. But that's a big if because Volkov been in there with the best and his losses over the past, you know, five. I mean, his only losses in the UFC are, are to the top of the division. Tom Aspinall before the knee, uh, Cyril Ghosn, Curtis Blades and Derek Lewis back in 2018, which was like when he was really, really popping uh, kind of a breakout fight there for him. But in this one, I'm going to lean with the more experienced guy just because I need to see more from Romanov as a favorite against a guy like Volkov. You know, when I look back and see Tom Aspinall was a very slight favorite against Volkov and he what he did to Volkov, and then I look at Alexander Romanov in this one as a bigger favorite than Tom Aspinall was, I'm like, man, Tom Aspinall is way more skilled in every facet of mixed martial arts than Alexander Romanov. I have to go with Volkov. Uh, in, it's dog or pass in this this spot for me. Maybe that that last loss for Romanov is just sticking with me too much, but I just can't do it. I'll take the dog. What about you? Yeah, no, I'm kind of thinking the same, and, and the more I think about it too, you know, this fight seems like it's either Romanov by first-round finish or Alexander Volkanovsky on the money line because – Alexander Volkanovsky. <laughs> Alexander Volkov. <laughs> Uh, because, I mean, first of all, the experience on Volkov's side, he's been in there with way better opponents. Um, you know, if it stands at range and, and, Volk, or and Romanov can't get it done in the first round, Volkov could really take over this fight between the middle of the second on to the third. Um, but, you know, the takedown defense is concerning early because Romanov is a super strong dude, powerful, and he's got good wrestling credentials. But, I mean, getting beat by... Tibura worries me a lot because Tibura is not an explosive guy. Um, he doesn't have this crazy power on the feet, anything like that. Um, so, yeah, man, I, I'm kind of with you. I like I like Volkov here. Um, the one thing we talked about right before this was that out of all of his fights and wins, he's got I forget how many fights total. Is it 45 professional fights? He's lost 10 times and he's only been knocked out twice. So it shows a little bit of durability, and one of those knockouts was to Derek Lewis, who knocks out a lot of people, and especially at the time. So, um, yeah, all signs here. I mean, getting him at plus 152, I think that's a pretty good price uh, for a guy who should make this fight pretty close and, and have a pretty good chance to win it as well. Yeah, the one thing that scares me is Volkov's been submitted three times. Romanov's got 10 submissions on his record. Right. Uh, one last thing I'll say on that. Look at the, the level of competition that Romanov is like in the UFC. It is the bottom of the barrel. And the, the only close fight that he had was against Juan Espino, who was not in the UFC anymore. He's 42 years old 
and uh, this fight happened less than two years ago. So, I mean, he was 40 years old going against a 40-year-old Juan Espino and had to get a technical split decision because of a nut shot. And he was probably on his way to losing that fight if it continued. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, as a favorite man, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Maybe I'm scarred.